All right, yo, what's going on, everyone? You guys got the Bar Kage of the Hidden Games Village here today, and welcome back to another uh, calisthenics tutorial video. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do uh, the Maltese. The Maltese, as some of you guys may know, is actually one of the hardest skills and uh, one of the hardest static skills uh, in calisthenics. <clears throat> um, it, it is basically, I don't really know how to describe what it is. It's not really like a wide grip planche, because that is. Uh, Maltese is kind of its own thing. Uh, the best way to think about it, the most basic way, is just to think that you are basically <clears throat> holding your body up at the same level as whatever surface you're doing it on. So, for example, if you're doing it on rings, your body should be <clears throat> um, on the same exact plane as the rings. If you're on P-bars, your body should be in the same plane as the uh, P-bars, okay? So, <clears throat> now, it is not required to necessary there's not really any requirements for this you can just kind of train it uh but from my experience i would recommend having probably at least 10 seconds of full planche a couple of presses some push-ups i'd recommend just being good at planche because that's going to make this skill a little bit easier to learn and it could also probably reduce your risk of injury when training for this skill because this is this is a pretty demanding skill and it's pretty easy to actually get hurt doing this okay so it's important that we're careful and we avoid that because you don't want to not be able to train obviously okay so uh the first exercise uh for the maltese is a good one it is just the basic maltese lean okay so you're just going to take your parallettes here and it's very similar to a planche lean you're just going to do you're just going to lean forward <clears throat> as far as you can as far as you can so you can feel your feet barely coming off the ground and you're just going to try to hold that <clears throat> for time i found the leans to be one of my favorites when i was training for it and another thing i also did with the leans is i made them a little bit more dynamic so i'll show you guys kind of how i did that so i would lean <clears throat> lean forward again sort of in the maltese lean here and i would just press it back, come down, and I would just rep this out, okay? <clears throat> so that's the first exercise, the Maltese leans and <clears throat> the uh, presses there. Uh, so the next exercise, I'm gonna show you guys, I need to get a different. All right guys, so this next exercise I'm gonna show you is a really, really good one. Uh, this was actually originally called the box Maltese, but this movement has kind of been repopularized by a buddy of mine, uh, Yo Calisthenics. So we actually call this the Pseudo Maltese. And um, I'm basically gonna show you a couple exercises that you can do with this Pseudo Maltese here to help you get the real Maltese, okay? So <clears throat> basically for the Maltese, uh, the way I like to set these up is uh, I like to take the dip bars, and you can use anything, boxes, um, and I like to place them so they're kind of at like a 45 degree angle here, okay? Basically, very similar, you just are going to calm down, you're gonna rest your arms on the, <clears throat> on the dip bars here, and you're simply just gonna <clears throat> come off the ground. You can hold it for time, and you can also do presses, okay? Both are great. Both are really good. I just prefer to do probably maybe three to five seconds of a hold and then a press just so I can add some of the uh, dynamic uh, variations here, okay? <clears throat> um, so if you wanna make this a little bit harder, I have, have, I have the uh, dip bars pretty close, like the, the base of the bars are, is touching, but if you wanna make it even harder, you can set them a little bit farther apart <clears throat> And that way you will get less assistance from the dip bars. I'm not going to demonstrate that version because I'm coming at you guys post-workout right now. So I probably wouldn't even be able to do it. So, But you guys get the picture. You can do just the regular <clears throat> pseudo multis with the P-bars close together, uh, holds and presses. And you can also make them a little bit wider and do the exact same thing, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the next exercise. So exercise number three takes place here on the rings. Now, as you guys know, a lot of you guys might be watching this video and say like, hey, I want to get Maltese on rings. Um, so <clears throat> rings are a little bit different. And I actually think I might make 
more Maltese videos kind of talking about different variations because there's actually a lot of different variations with this skill. So comment down below if you'd like to see uh, a video dedicated to one specific variation of Maltese because I would absolutely love to make that, okay? This next one's a pretty good one and you, you, you do it on rings and it's going to give you a good feel for uh, doing Maltese on uh, parallettes as well. It's going to help you be able to enter the skill, okay? so. Basically, you're just gonna hop on the rings in a support hold, and you're just gonna lean, you're just gonna lean forward a little bit, and uh, just hold it as far as you can lean. Okay, so watch this. So keep your core tight. We're just gonna lean forward, just like this. Okay. And as you guys can see, if I were to go all the way. I'd actually be in a Maltese. So it's a great way to kind of practice the entrance here. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple more. Just lean forward like that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, another good one. I'm gonna switch up the angle again and I'll show you guys the last exercise. All right, everybody. So the next exercise I'm gonna demonstrate for you is called the Zanetti Press. This is done with dumbbells and with straight arms. This is one of my favorite movements to train Maltese for some reason. I really don't know why, but I just like doing it. Um, so for this, I've got two 25 pound dumbbells here. I usually don't like to be a hero with this exercise. I won't really go super heavy. I just do it <clears throat> with enough weight to where I can still really get a feel for the movement because this is a, this is a training exercise that I'd probably recommend doing towards the end of the Maltese training session. It's kind of like an accessory, but it's still a good movement nonetheless. So I'm gonna demonstrate it, um, <clears throat> okay? So you're just gonna take the parallettes, <laughs> I mean the dumbbells, sorry. Uh, I usually like to have them so I start on the ground, <clears throat> okay? So I'll show you guys how I do it. There's a ton of different ways to do it. I like to keep my core tight the entire time <clears throat> when I do it as well, because that's just like, how you'd have it in a real Maltese. So basically I like to grab the dumbbells, start on the ground, push them up. I hold this for a few seconds and then I bring them all the way up. And then I'll just simply come back down and I'll do it for reps. So boom, boom. Sometimes I'll come back to, to the ground in between reps and then I'll just go back like this. Really good exercise, guys. That's called the Zanetti Press. <clears throat> uh, and um, honorable mentions that I didn't show. So Band Maltese is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> I just don't really have a good setup for bands in my basement here, so I didn't demonstrate it. I just did the leans instead. But the bands are <clears throat> absolutely amazing for training Maltese. Um, and then the other thing that you can work on is just continue to try to strengthen your planche and uh, supinated grip uh, back lever. Supinated back lever is actually pretty important for <clears throat> Maltese well, in my opinion. So just getting good at supinated planche, supinated grip back lever, both of those are gonna really help you train for Maltese. So if I were to write you guys up like a little session with this, I would do maybe four sets of <clears throat> the leans and or band holds. Then I would move to, I would do in the order that I've had to show the video. And then I would do maybe the uh, pseudo Maltese or box Maltese, whatever you want to call it. And then finish up with uh, the Zanetti press and the uh, lean forwards on the rings. And uh, yeah, guys, please let me know what you thought of this video. Also, please leave suggestions for future tutorial videos you guys would like to see. Uh, definitely feel free to let me know uh, what you thought of the video in the comments as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.